Welcome back to the channel. In the first two chapters of this series, um, I finished the inner box of the box in a box design. And in this last chapter, I will finish the whole project. It will look like this. And I will do some measurements and show you how effective this project is. I like it. I love it. Now I can comfortably use it on all my um, in uh, all my tools, for example, at the drill press. It's such a difference. It's day and night, basically. And it's not only yeah, more healthy, um, that's for sure, but yeah, it makes, it makes fun. It's fun to use, honestly. All right, without further ado, this is how I made it. Okay, on this bottom, the inner box will be approximately here. And these are the outer walls. I will have to put in the absorber material and I would have to build the exhaust duct, which turned out to be not exactly trivial, but wait and see. If you would ask me what I would do differently if I had to build it again, I would probably choose wood, uh, OSB or MDF over plasterboard. Plasterboard, yeah, it's cheap and it has a high density, but it's kind of uh, nasty to work with. It produces lots of dust and dirt. And I think at least for a small enclosure like this, wood is fine, take wood. For a big room, rehearsal room, maybe a different story. Yeah, this was the first time I ran into problems. This kind of hose had too much air resistance. Uh, the consequence was loss of horsepower in the vacuum system and too much leakage into the inner box. Uh, at the end, I had to rip it apart again. Earth should be cut off. Oh. Now I'm using something uh, with less air resistance. Both connected. These are connected. Let's have a go. Let's have a call. Ah, yes. All right. The lid you can see in these frames was replaced later on. The reason was I couldn't get it airtight. So guys, this is what it looks like with the mineral wool inside. Now, the next step is crucial, I think. I mean, <laughs> this whole project is about clean air. Um, I don't want to have the fine particles from this mineral wool going um, in my air here in my workshop. So I, I will kind of seal or um, lock the mineral wool inside this gap. Das sieht doch ganz gut aus. Looks good.
what's the takeaway from all of this? Um, yeah, also this, this kind of exhaust duct with its thin PVC material is perfectly fine for lower speeds. For example, if you happen to build a drum booth, a vocal booth, a, some kind of rehearsal room, you can attach this to the inner wall, the other end to the outer wall, and within both walls, this is surrounded by absorber material, for example, uh, mineral wool. And because the material is so, so thin, noise can easily pass this material into the absorber material, where it will get basically transformed into uh, heat. On the other hand, with the high aspects of such a vacuum system, this is not ideal due to its shape and all the little turbulences which develop in here. You have too much air resistance and you're losing horsepower on your vacuum system. Um, I thought, okay, why not use some kind of hose, hose with a more smooth inner wall? And in terms of air speeds, this is perfectly fine, but there's a big drawback. Uh, it's simply too loud. So this rigid material does not allow the noise to pass that easily compared to this thin PVC material. And therefore, it's fine for air resistance, but it's simply too loud. And at the, at the end of the day, I found out that the, the, the old maze design for the exhaust duct is a perfect compromise and a perfect solution for me. All right, and here's another thing I would definitely change the next time. I mean, I designed it for the lightweight PVC duct. These maze boxes, they need more space. They are hardly decoupled from the back wall. I would design it with more space so that I can decouple it with another layer of um, yeah, absorber material. Oh, alors, on y va. I need, I think I'm gonna switch to the Knauf Power Elast Sealant. Dann, warte mal ganz einfach. Hier einfach. I have no idea what I'm doing here. So, all right. Oh, that was even quicker. Nice. Glue on this lid in the total. Oh yes, it did. Okay. Well, 
Quality Products. Jesus. <lacht> was, was ist das denn? Das ist the size L. Guys, the moment of truth. Let's roll the clip. I really think that's a solid result. I mean, given that I didn't test it with a handpick frequency, but with white noise and using a party box 100, which really delivers on the low end, and low end is hard to reduce. And furthermore, given that this thing is far from being airtight, I mean, air has to go in, has to go out. I'm really happy. I'm really pleased with the result. And that gave me motivation to complete my dust collection on the drill press, for example. And now it's it's really nice. I mean, the, the drill press isn't that loud, so the shop vac, shop vac without an enclosure was really annoying. Um, but now it's, uh, it's nice and comfortable and it's fun to use, as I said at the beginning. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Material is already standing behind me. It'll be great.